Yeah, uh, my name is Ravi Kumarty, assistant professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, SVAT, Bangalore. So uh, today I am here to explain the explain how to solve the problems uh, uh, on problems of solids, especially it is on square pyramid. Okay, so square pyramid in this uh, yeah, we have already completed a square pyramid, but in the square pyramid we should know what is the slant edge and what is the slant triangle face problems. Okay, so these problems are may create a huge problems in the uh, examination okay slant edge and slant triangle face so you must understand what is a slant edge and what is a slant triangle face see uh, you very simple edge contain how many points so edge contain two points what about triangle face contain so triangle face means triangle face contain three points okay means three points together we call it as a triangle two point we together we call it as a edge okay so slant edge means slant edge means it is a corner okay so slant triangle face means you have to place edge condition very simple these two things you have to remember slant edge means it is a corner position slant triangle face means it is a edge position okay you can see uh, we'll discuss it yeah so you can see the first problem yeah square pyramid 35 mm sides of base 60 mm axis length rest on HP and one of its slant edge. See, I already told slant edge means what? It's a corner, means only two points together we call it as a slant edge. So, draw the projection when axis appears to be inclined to VP at 45 degree. Yeah, here very simple. You have to identify whether it's a locus or without locus problem. See, locus or without locus? Locus means appear word is absent. Without locus means appear word is present in the problem. Okay, yeah. So we'll see this is a without locus problem and it's a slant edge. Slant edge means I already told that corner condition. Okay. Yeah. You can place the corner like this. And then if you're looking from top of an object, all it, you know diagonal lines are visible. Yeah. So the naming is done, diagonal lines are visible. Next you have to draw vertical line upward. Okay. So a projection line. Next you have to take a height is 60 mm. Okay. So triangle face height is 60 mm. So you take height is 60. Okay, so from here you have to take height is 60. So height is 60, yeah, you need to join. So this axis is going to overlap with a B and D. So these two are visible, so that's why it is overlapping with a this thing. So that's why the center line is called is going to visible like a visible line. Next, do the naming. See, so as A is visible, then this D is visible, but B is invisible. See, you can see that A dash, B dash, sorry, uh, D dash. And in the bracket B dash, next O2 dash is the origin, C dash, okay, next here is a O1 dash. This complete. So slant hedge or slant triangle face. See, you can observe if you place a corner, this we call it as a slant edge. Means how many points are there? Only two points. So that is how we have to place a corner position for slant edge. Yeah, next is what? You can select this point and you can place here, then you, you have to rotate like this. See, you can place slant edge on x y line means this slant edge should be placed it on x y line then do the naming okay draw projection line downward okay done next if you looking from top of an object all outer edges are visible okay so and the triangle face triangle is completely visible okay all outer edges and this face is completely visible a b c d e okay a b c d these four edges are completely visible so i have to draw with the help of visible line next is what B to O is visible and D to O is also visible. Yeah, so B to O is visible and uh, D to O is visible, but A to O is also visible. What about C to O? C to O is invisible. So we have to draw with the help of invisible line. I think you can observe here dotted line here. Okay, C to VA is a dotted line. Clear? Yeah. So what is next? Axis is inclined to VP at 45 degree. Yeah, you have to take a 45 degree line. Then you have to take this axis and you can incline. That's it. Okay. So you can observe here uh, the red lines are called as a dotted line. Actually, A to O is also visible. So this should be a visible line. Uh, so that is overlapping with a uh, the hidden line is overlapping with a head, you know, visible line. Next, you have to draw projection line upward. Yeah. So after that, see if you're looking from bottom of an object, its complete bottom face is completely visible. So that we have to draw with the help of visible line. Next is what O. Okay. So here, which are the invisible? You have to identify. So B is a out away from the observer. All are visible. See, D two O is also visible. Yes, D two O is visible, but B two O is away from the observer. So B two O is invisible. 
okay so this is a oh, this is the first problem say in uh, square pyramid especially in slant edge slant edge means you have to remember that is a corner position slant triangle face means you have to remember it is a edge condition okay yeah so next we'll go for next problem see is same problem but appear word is not there in the problem okay so same slant edge but appear word is not there slant edge means it's a corner position first and second position is similar to the previous problem okay yeah you can see corner condition corner condition naming okay then you have to draw projection line upward you have to take it 60 okay so this complete the first position clear what is the second position second position means the slant edge see which is the slant edge c to o is a slant edge this you have to place it on x y line finished okay next you have to do naming clear next you have to draw projection line downward okay if you're looking from top of an object this complete face is visible so the complete face is visible next a to o is visible you know if you're looking from top of an object a to o is visible b and d is visible but c is invisible okay this completes clear so this is a visible you know hidden lines we call it as a uh, which are invisible means c to o is a invisible so here yeah it is a locus problem so locus problem means we, sh we should know that we have to identify true length and we have to identify apparent length which is a true length so true length is first position which is apparent length from second position means o to o1 is a true length in a first position again o to o1 in the second position it's a apparent length so we have to find out the beta angle see uh, here yes uh, you take a 45 degree line next use a true length okay next draw locus line yeah next use apparent length from the same point you have to cut an arc on a locus line okay then extend it to x y line you can find out the beta angle so next select this axis okay and you place it in the incline to vp yeah it is placed okay you can observe this dotted lines are called as a invisible lines okay next naming so what is the second next is next you have to draw projection line upward okay so projection line upward clear so after that if you're looking from bottom of an object this complete bottom face is visible so we have to draw with the help of visible line clear so next is what so we have to identify which one is a invisible and which one is a visible so the point b is away from the observer as usual b is a invisible line it's finished okay b is a invisible line but c to o is visible d to o is visible a to o is also visible okay this completes the problem okay so very simple is you have to identify if if slant edge is given which condition you have to take if appear word is not there which method you have to do for problem solving okay that is a very simple method so if slant edge is given you have to take corner condition if appear word is not there in the problem you have to go with a locus if appear word is present in the problem you, you need not to find out the beta angle means you need not to go for uh, locus method okay this completes the slant edge we'll see how slant triangle fits. yeah so you can see the same problem but the rest on hp on one of its slant triangle face so slant triangle face means you should have a three points okay and appear word is present so as it said that it is a without locus problem we'll see slant triangle face means what edge condition or corner edge condition okay edge condition yes edge naming diagonal lines are visible okay you have to draw projection line upward so this is the top view of an object next you have to take axis it 60 next you have to join this that's it this is the first position of the problem as you know that c is a if you're looking from bottom of an object this c is a visible and b is a invisible again a is a invisible d is a visible so this is the problem okay so first position next is what yeah you have to identify which whether it is a slant triangle face or not you can see b dash c dash and o dash how many points are there three points so slant triangle face means how many points are there three points so this is how we have to identify slant triangle face and slant edge so now the slant triangle face is on hp yeah you can see slant face slant face is faced okay naming then draw projection line downward okay so projection line drawn if looking from top of an object this complete face is visible yes complete face is visible next so a to o is visible and d to o is visible yeah a to o is visible and d to o is visible what about invisible you can observe 
this B to O and C to O is away from the observer. So, it is not visible. So, we have to use invisible line that is it. What is the last position? Yeah, we have to go for up, axis appears to be VP at 45 degree. Okay. So, 45 degree line okay, now then you take a axis and you incline here place it here okay, then do the naming after that you have to draw projection line upward. Okay. So, after that if you looking from bottom of an object this triangle uh, square face is completely visible. So, we have to draw with the help of visible line this face is completely visible. So, we have to draw with the help of visible line next is what you have to find out which one is a visible and which one is a invisible edge means which is away from the observer which is a near to the observer. So, A to O is away from the observer, but rest of the things are near to the observer you can see A to O is invisible D to O is visible clear. So, this is the uh, slant triangle face problem without locus ok we will see how with locus yeah with locus is very simple you can see appear word is not there, but everything is same slant triangle face ok. So, first and second position is same so no, no need to spend time much time on that yeah edge condition yes naming ok you have to draw projection line upward next you have to complete the first position second position is what the slant triangle face this is a slant triangle face this should be place it on where x y line ok. So, how you identify slant triangle face it contain a 3 points ok and which you 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 can have a question that sir why why you are selecting only this slant triangle face why cannot we select the other slant triangle face yeah very simple that see which is a resting position. So, you have I already told beginning of this solids problem we are taking resting condition towards our right hand side. So, which is a resting condition B and C is a resting condition. So, that is why we are play taking this B C slant triangle face and we are placing on x y line ok yeah that is the one the question actually you are going to arise in while uh, solving the problem why we are placing only this ok. So, that is the reason resting condition we will taking resting condition and we can place it on x y line yeah that is it drop projection line downward ok next complete the second position yeah second position is completed. So, next since it is a locus problem so we have to find out true length and apparent length you take 45 degree then use a true length ok then after that use the apparent length a uh, first true length draw locus ok then use the apparent length from this same point you need to cut an arc then you have to join from this uh, intersection point to a uh, point and then you can extend to x y line you can find out the beta. So, this is how beta is find out next you can place this axis and you can place it on inclination with beta placed ok. What is the next you have to draw projection line upward ok. Yeah, if you looking from bottom of an object this complete face is visible. So, we have to draw with the help of visible line. So, which is a invisible please remember is away from the observer is A. So, it is a invisible because all other are outer edges ok. So, this complete the slant triangle face and slant edge problems in square pyramid ok. Thank you.